Hey guys, we take here at Blueberry Hill. So here we are, October 16th to the 25th. Uh, we decided to do uh, all the framing and uh, wall, three walls of the living room and uh, the panels that we had cut out from the, the containers. Um, this is in part uh, should be actually stronger than uh, we were planning before, which was a two by construction with uh, a zip sheeting and all that fun stuff. Uh, the price of wood, etc., has gone totally nuts. Uh, it's pretty much 3x of what we expected so we're doing this in the meantime obviously we'll have, have the roof uh, we're gonna do that in, in wood 2x12s spanning across in the zip system uh, so we'll finish that off and hopefully in a few weeks and then we're, we'll be pretty much dried in and we can continue on the living room um, this process is pretty interesting so here you see me cutting the last panel for the uh, front wall uh, most of the wall is about seven feet tall. Um, we're calling this kind of like the barn room look. Uh, it's got five windows um, on this wall and then a shed roof on the container I'm standing on uh, that's going to be roughly about two and a half feet up on this wall. And uh, the window is going to go between this and, of course, the overhang uh, for the main room. Um, so here you see me cutting the panel with plasma. Um, I had to actually recut the panels. I uh, measured wrong. I cut them uh, several days ago. I had to cut all of them down a little bit. And here you see me welding it up, and that kind of completes this this section of the wall. So here I'm going to do a final weld on the uh, side supports for the roof. Uh, these are 3 by 3 by 3 16 angle iron. Um, not too structurally sound uh, because we're going to have uh, 2 by 12 uh, joists on top of these um, for the roof uh, joists. And then of course the zip system, etc, etc. And then eventually I'll have uh, spray foam and stuff and uh, we'll go from there. Anyway, doing the final weld here, get rid of the clamps. I had the clamps hanging onto this for the last couple days. Um, just pain in the butt to get the welder up to the top. Um, this section here, so I'm welding the angle iron between the yellow container and the beam. Um, that's going to cover a, uh, a little small gap between the beam and the container itself. And this is where the, con the concrete is going to be poured as well. So um, no wall is going to be on the right of me or added to that. But where the wires are, there's going to be a kind of a two-story wall put there. And then we're going to leave one section out so we can have the power wires. Uh, going from the other side of the building. Um, either that or we make a small hole for the, the cables to go through. But right right there, right in front of me, um, that's going to be left open so we'll have access to the floor, etc. Once we finish both walls on either side, uh, then we're going to cut two access doors right in the container on the left of me there, or in front of me, and uh, that way we'll be able to get between the living room and the inside of the containers. Uh, once we put the roof on, we'll be able to cut all the main uh, walls out and we'll be ready to do the concrete work. So of course more welding here. I'm putting the, uh, the angle iron on the uh, second floor. Um, the stick welding is still kind of a pain in the patootie, uh, especially vertical. Anyway, here you see me putting the uh, first panel up. I was going to do this. It's a little windy. I was doing it by myself. Angie was down there, uh, I think burning brush or whatever she was doing. Um, I decided to just try it on my own because we have the scaffold on the other side so it won't fall in and then I'm just trying to get an idea of what to do here. Um, this is the first panel. I should have actually put a triangle piece that you see missing up there, uh, welded it to the panel before I put this up. That's what we did uh, later on. Uh, for the first panel I did it, I welded this panel on and then did the triangle and it was a little harder to do that. So from this one onwards we weld the panels together and then shove them up on the wall. Pretty much the uh, final product here, you see the triangle I cut out, now I'm just going to weld it. It was hard to do this, um, obviously I like welding horizontally, not uh, vertically with this, the stick welder. I wish I could use the MIG up here, but getting that tank up and down is a pain. Uh, I guess I can get a longer hose for the, the gas, but 
anyway, um, it was what it was. Here I'm cutting a small, uh, I guess about a foot and a half panel that goes to the end of the container and then uh, the main sections from the ground up we're going to seam together um, and put those up uh, later on. So Jake and Emily came for a visit so we decided to uh, use him to help me put the panels together. Here we're doing the seam weld on the ground. Uh, we use the floor as a guide and then we have the, the big 2x6 over there as a straight edge to make sure we line up the grooves of the, uh, the panels together. Now we're just seam welding and then we uh, hoist it up with uh, the jib boom. I didn't do a very good job on, on videotaping the jib boom part but uh, we'll get it in there. So the stick welding obviously it's a lot easier doing it this way. It's uh, horizontal and on the ground and uh, you don't get these molten balls trying to kill you um, doing, as opposed to doing vertical welds. <laughs> So here it is, uh, in most of these panels, they're not 100% straight, so I'm going to get the sledge and start uh, hammering a few of the pieces together. Um, and then we're going to continue, we're going to flip it and then uh, seam weld the other side. Um, and then put the triangle on top and uh, hoist it up with the jib boom. So here's a big flip coming. We just basically throw this on the ground and then uh, finish welding this side. And then uh, in a few minutes, we'll be putting the triangle piece up top. This didn't take very long. It was our first seamed panels together. So it was, took the longest, I guess, about anyone who done, will be doing, I'm sure. Uh, then Jake was uh, trying to learn stick welding. Um, he did okay. Uh, he's grinding the, uh, the paint off right now and then he's gonna start welding a little bit. Uh, this is his first time stick welding and I only have one hat so I can't actually show him um, exactly what to do because I don't have a hat to look at the fire. So there. He did okay. I mean things stuck together and then I came by and uh, finished seaming it. Uh, put a couple of holes in this one but it is what it is. No big deal. And here we are. So I didn't videotape the, us hoisting this up but with a the scaffold there, we just basically put it in, move the scaffold over so it doesn't fall on our heads. And then uh, we measured wrong, so Jake's cutting off the little excess uh, of the panel. Um, I ended up measuring wrong on the other side of the wall as well, you'll see that in a minute. But uh, in any case, he cut off the excess and we were able to stick weld this together and uh, call it good. So the following day or two, I uh, started working on the other side of the wall. Um, as I mentioned, we're going to leave one uh, one set of panels out on the uh, garage side, just so we can pass through and uh, allow the cables to run through there. Um, I'm doing this one by myself. Angie's running around at the bottom end of the, the property, um, and uh, I'm just seaming this. It went pretty quick. It still took uh, approximately two and a half hours to get this together and shove it up on the wall. I was hoping to do it in about an hour, but uh, I guess it is what it is. So um, I had to flip these by myself. They're kind of heavy now, two panels together. And uh, I'm just trying to get, right there you see me doing some hammer work. I'm trying to get the panels to be nice and flat together and a lot easier to weld, of course. And then I'll flip this over and do the other side. So then we on to the jib boom. So here I am, uh, get the jib boom ready. You're going to see something that's not safe <laughs> so I hoist this up and uh, I had the hook I cut a hole in the uh, panel um, and I move this in place and I put it up and uh, you'll see me kicking the panel in a second trying to put it in place and in doing so the hook uh, basically let go from the, uh, the panel here it comes think <laughs> bang <laughs> so I knew it was falling so I just got out of the way and the air you know it slowed it down so second round and she came by helped me out um, and then we both kind of did it together. We watched and uh, made sure we did it right this time. Went nice and slow. 
uh, we get this in place and then we move the scaffold against it so it won't move anywhere and then I start trimming and uh, welding it up so pretty easy you'll see a little triangle up top uh, this one is the smallest one of course and then I basically do, do probably two sets more um, probably two and a half sets uh, more of these panels and we should be done with this wall so hopefully uh, we'll, we'll be onto the roof uh, within a couple weeks here So up top I go, uh, I had to actually cut a little bit of the uh, the triangle off, um, the panel I measured wrong obviously, um, this was a pain in the butt to measure, um, I was trying to use an electric uh, measuring tool, didn't work too good because we couldn't see the little laser that we're shooting up for the, uh, the, the frame support here, so we used a calculation <laughs> and it went wrong. So here I'm cutting the, uh, the excess off, not a big deal, it took a few minutes. And then the panel went into place and I started welding it up. So with the cut complete, I'm just uh, tacking it for the initial. And then I uh, finish welding the uh, top and the bottom. And uh, that panel was, was in place. I didn't uh, get a chance to weld the sides all that great. Just a couple of um, pack welds. And we'll do that later on. But anyway, one part of the wall done. Um, after this, uh, the weather changed pretty significantly the next couple days, so uh, it was rainy and very cold, so I didn't do anything. Um, and then I have a job to do uh, out of town, so I won't be back till the very beginning of November. A little more welding on the bottom and uh, we consider this panel stuck. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, more to come. Um, we're going to take a little hi hiatus here for a couple days. Got a job out of town and uh, the weather turned kind of funky. So we'll be back beginning of November and to continue. Thanks again. Bye.